but do you, yeah do y'all watch any of the cons of the congressional like testimony uh situations you know when they got a guy from a drug company or <clears throat> a ceo of somewhere like on the stand and they're, they're giving them the business because i love that shit uh, no i haven't really i what i think it's your guy from uh missouri it's uh white guy in his 30s maybe for, maybe early 40s with like, i don't actually what, know who our guy what? he's got good I, I know i'm trying to describe him. <laughs> I love got, that. Our, our governor is that it gun no, to no, my no, head no. i don't know who the governor of missouri is <laughs> no. <laughs> no it's uh it's definitely a senator <laughs> mike or, parson <laughs> um i don't know anyway he's always great he's always great um i saw one where josh holly that's is, is that, that the him? guy Wait, I, Josh Hawley's a senator. Eric, Eric Schmidt. I need to. Josh I don't Hawley. know. I need to see a picture of the guy. Um, there's. I've seen a couple things about Missouri today. I think um, uh, St. Louis is uh, they're, uh, they're they're working on reparations there. I, I watched the whole thing about that today. Thank goodness. Yeah. Oh, you think so? Who's getting the reparations? Achieve. Well, I, I think I, we got to get some equity um, for 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 those. Everyone well, should have the same results, Taylor. And if you don't think so, you're <laughs> racist. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I will not be. Well, I mean, that I guarantee it's St. Louis City who will vote on that. Like I said, St. Louis City, St. Louis County, separate governments. And so the city will have, if they're doing that, I haven't even heard about it, that will pass there. And just like everything that passes, there's already, n- nobody lives there already. All there's the, no one who lives there. Everybody well, about the it, it's not businesses. fair. Taylor has two jobs, right? I, that's we fair. should take some of his earnings and give them to people who only have one job. No. Or no jobs. No, no, don't like that. No. You're hoarding. You're hoarding I, work and money. You're hoarding ninety thousand dollar bathrooms. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think that is who we need. Everyone should get a piece of that bathroom. Everyone should be able to go in there every no, now and then yeah. take a little Taylor, shower. Taylor, <laughs> in, in my defense, I barely work at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> where's your no, all the time just the collecting cash. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is bullshit don't don't point that gun at me take it from taylor he's so busy he won't know us <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah that that shit's retarded so stupid you're gonna you're gonna vote to redistribute wealth like They're, that they had no. a 20 minute discussion about it and there were no white people there <laughs> <laughs> no shit I wonder if that was no white pe- it's like a black woman with a, a a bald black woman who who is so light-skinned by the way i don't think that i think that she's almost passable an octo <laughs> is it is it octoloon or octoroon i think both are frowned upon i don't know this word <laughs> <laughs> um well i know i know it a, from archer as taylor would say <laughs> not a single drop it. um but, but anyway she she's saying that she she they're just going back and forth these bald light skinned dude there, there about is not how the white about how whitey needs to pay up his fair share um how like half the city can't let the other half die <laughs> well yes. oh, what are the, oh, are they saying the county has to pay a bunch of money to recover the city it's like no the city is a shithole because it's run by dummies who continue to make it worse. i saw her picture today um your your mayor there um is she hot no, no, but she's hotter than uh, Lori Lightfoot out of Chicago. Who, who, well, are you saying that's... hotter than Lori Lightfoot? Yeah. Hotter than, yeah. than Beetlejuice? <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you put a picture of Lori Lightfoot up, please, Zach? Just L-O-R-I, so people know the she's... bar that this woman's cleared. It is she's almost yeah, she uncanny it. valley levels of un, of ugly. <laughs> like, just the just <laughs> just like, hairline, if we're being real, though, right? Like, I've it? just never seen a woman who accepted receiving... She looks surprised. <laughs> you don't see many women who accept male pattern baldness, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they I do something. Especially if they're black. Like, I don't think that's racist to say at all. Most, wow. like, like this black is some women of, This is the wear, best I've ever seen her. Black women do... Yeah, this is old. Uh, this is old. She, her hair is almost like... I don't know, up here somewhere. Like, like she's way back here now. She, she's 30, 40% more surprised than this now all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to see these yeah. pictures of her. Like, <sighs> it's so odd that for, for like a black person, like I said, to like these not These pictures from something. yesterday? All right, so that's what she looks like. Uh, not... That's from yesterday? She got hair plugs then. <laughs> this, is, this is the absolute best. I've oh, seen. oh, there's a good angle. That is male pattern baldness. Yeah, it's male pattern baldness. That's a high T woman right there. Yeah. High T. I, I honestly, honest pronouns. <laughs> I'm a 50-year-old male, and I swear I, I'm confident in saying I've got her hairline beat. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. That yeah, like, she, like I she's actually do. Toward, she is heading toward Mr. Burns at the speed of light, okay? Have, she's, leave it on this she, photo. Have you, ever see, have you ever seen that meme where it's like, 
how does someone look so masculine yet so feminine, so young yet so old? Like, what am I looking at here? Like, she looks like she could be young, pretending to be older, because she's got like a child's lower half to her face with the smaller chin. I don't know why she lost re-election though. She got the numbers up. She pumped those the numbers. Murder numbers. Yeah. The homicide rates. Yeah, they're, yeah. They, they haven't been this strong in ages. She's yeah. the first mayoral Biden candidate not to win re-election in, 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 what do they say, 40 years? Yeah, you I said 40 years in, in the tax. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, though, you have to look at Illinois politicians. They've only had two mayors almost, in the last 20, though. All of them go to jail. And she's one of them. So my question is, did she lose the primary and they're likely to get a different Democrat? Or did she lose to a Republican and they're likely to change teams? No, no there's I think no way the a Republican won in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, all of her competition was black or brown. Uh, although the squares were small, one of those persons could have been very light skinned. Okay. So, yeah, so they, she lost. It was a primary. Yeah. I think so. And yeah. I assume yeah. the Democrat that beat her is favored to win the general. Absur- abs- yeah. Yeah. A Republican has no shot in Chicago. Just, okay. I knew that I was true in some state. Vote. Like in Baltimore, I, the Republican I, I, never, ever wins in Baltimore. Yeah. Maybe 80 or 90%. It's like uh, St. Louis then, City. Then like I, I think it's been like decades since St. Louis City has had like a Republican in mm. pretty much anywhere there. I also care how close it is because like a Democratic senator or governor, they never win in Texas, but they are sometimes within like three or four percent. So it's like mm-hmm. if everything were to line up, if they were to elect some pedo like Alabama did. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alabama had the pedo. They did. Um, then he'd probably no, lose. He was like fourteen-year-old girls he, when he was fifty. And he was banned from the mall. I don't remember. It. <laughs> yeah. he, was, oh, yeah. he was that guy that they banned from the mall. <clears throat> he, uh, you know, Rufus name? McOld oh. cocksucker. Fuck. That, he was at yeah. Roy. This something? was years ago. Yeah, Roy Moore, he's it's probably Roy, dead now. Roy That's how old he was. Roy Moore, maybe. Right? Yeah, yeah. Green black. Um, right. So if they were to try to put up a Roy Moore in Texas, he might lose. Um. Mm-hmm. Whereas a Roy Moore could probably win in Baltimore. It's just so lopsided. Yeah. I guess it, I always really assumed a- like cities always were won, but like just because like St. Louis is my perspective point. And so like I thought it was like, yeah, every city always Democrats and every suburb for the most part, mostly Republican. You know, at least that's how St. Louis is. Like it's Republicans. Yeah, yeah. You, I don't even think they run Republicans in the city anymore. Don't Republicans win in New York City sometimes? Uh, I, I think there's, been, there's but... one Republican guy who's like in Northern, like a house rep in like Northern, uh, like the country of New York. Oh no, there's a lot more Republicans in New York than that. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they have like but the famous guy, Lee something, but I'm going for the mayors and shit. This list doesn't have their Giuliani, people. right? Giuliani. Yeah. Um, Bloomberg Blasio Adams. Do you know any of these names? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bloomberg I know the names. Is, I don't remember their party affiliations. I thought Bloomberg oh. was a Democrat. Didn't oh, he just run as a Democrat and everybody laughed at him even though he had like bunches of money and nothing happened in 2020? Wasn't he the the dude like bandying about the idea of one of the billionaires? He's like a real um, deal fucking billionaire. Like there's Trump level billionaire at like three, four bill. I think that guy's like real like 70 so bill. Bloomberg won as a Republican. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Uh, I think he's been Democrat lately, but he was a Republican in 02 to 13, I guess, when he ran. Oh, okay. I wouldn't. No. I definitely wouldn't know about that. I had to pull it up. I didn't know. But anyway, yeah. So my point was not not all big cities go blue every time, but we'll agree mm-hmm. mostly. Blue. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and their version of a Republican is always a a, a different kind of Republican yeah. as well, right? Which makes sense. You're gonna a Democrat have a... from six years ago is the kind of Republican <laughs> they like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have a root and toot. The kind of of Republican that would be far too, you know, left wing for a 2008 Democrat party. (laughs) That kind of Republican. I get recommended way too much Marjorie Taylor Greene by YouTube now. What's she up to? What's what's is she the good looking one or is that? uh, That's Bobert you're thinking of. That's Bobert. What's she up to then? (laughs) <laughs> i don't care about magic the gathering anymore <laughs> god she's hard to fucking look at i don't know i saw one she's just being like weird i i hate her so much Did you see her, her screaming so at that guy from georgia about election fraud how trump won the state how he's you know they fa- she's like if you're gonna sit here and tell me that no dead people voted in that election he's like four dead people voted no thousands did and trump won 
Georgia. And there he's like, Trump lost Jesus. Georgia by 11,000 some votes. And um, yeah. Still? Is this like a day ago? Two yeah, days ago? Like yesterday. Like she is really banging the Trump should have won the election. Do you think that widespread like, fraud drum? Do you think she's like out of material? Like, no, I, no. I, I'm told by whatever the news reports that uh, from people who know her that she's clever. She's not some stupid QAnon sucker. She's not an idiot who thinks Trump won the election. She's none of those things. What she is is a rabble rouser who gets idiots to vote for her. And it's all calculated and successful. I was a. Uh, I I keep seeing more and more stuff about the Wuhan lab. I saw that Congress voted unanimously to uh, release all information about uh, about the virus coming from there. Uh, it's looking like that's what happened. I saw the view, that clip from them being like, well, 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 we didn't want to agree with Trump. <laughs> they, <laughs> that, is that an actual quote? Is that yeah, right? Yeah, they, they, their, right. their point was, well, I no, we didn't want to consider that it might have come from a Wuhan lab. We'd have had to have agree- agreed with Trump. <laughs> and that's not that's just not palatable. <laughs> no, believe something believe bat soup instead <laughs> so it's 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 legitimately looking more and more like china um um oh and then the, i i like this conspiracy it, it was it, it's the nut job stuff that's starting to seem more and more true i keep seeing um they're asked they were asking fauci like well well who did you receive money from i received money from lots of places <laughs> it's like dude where'd that's you get that money from <laughs> what they pay you for <laughs> don't probably be above fucking board, obtuse man. about this I, no, I'd like money. to know if there's anything funny going on there. I, the reflection on COVID has impacted my opinion on fact checking because I used to feel like, hey, these are fact checkers. They can tell you what's true and not true. Boom. And sometimes, well, one, even if you know everything, it can be a bit of a gray area. And two, a lot of shit you just don't know. Like it's still coming out that the Wuhan lab theory at one time was like enough to get you banned off Twitter and a racist thing to think. Yeah. yeah. And it turns out to be the most likely. I think then now they're leaning to like if they had to choose gun to their head, they'd say the, the lab yeah. leak theory is the right one. You could uh, not believe that publicly and cloth maintain mask. social media. If you if you told everyone that like, you know, cloth masks are a waste of time, you're being stupid. Uh, that would get you like banned off Twitter now. Yeah. Uh, I think people generally agree cloth masks don't do much for you. They certainly don't do anything on the inhale side. Maybe on the exhale, they stop you from broadcasting your breath as far as it would have. I don't know. But uh, cloth masks, Wuhan lab leak, and there's probably some other examples. It's like things that were just would get you automatically bot fat checked on Facebook and Twitter are Mm -hmm. now they're on the other side. So uh, fact checking is hard. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's going to be uh, it's only going to bolster Trump's uh, odds come election time that he he's going to be proven right so many times as as the virus uh, as far as the virus went, um, he's just going to have a gotcha moment every step of the way on Biden, so that'll be interesting. Um, I don't, it won't matter. So I go the other way on it. I'm like, man, there's gotcha. So Biden, for example, now is pursuing people who committed fraud on COVID relief, people who got like paycheck guarantees. They put. I need $2.2 million to pay these people who aren't working anymore. Then they pay out a hundred thousand, put 2.1 million in their own pocket and call it a win. That shit is so prevalent and Biden going after it. will have story after story of how ineffective the governance was under Trump, how fraudulent, how poorly done it was. Maybe I'm the only one that cares about that kind of thing. Yeah. People won't care about that. They'd be like, Oh, did, did Americans get too much money out of the government? Oh, <sighs> Trump, did you give us too much money to people who might not? They won't care. No, it's but, thieves but and liars dead. and people who are connected. Those are the ones that got the money. I didn't get any COVID relief. Well, maybe the six hundred dollars or whatever they sent out, but I didn't get two point two million. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was twelve hundred. I forget what I it didn't was. Get shit. What? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't? No. <laughs> well, I thought everyone did, but anyway. No. Give me no goddamn check. <laughs> Dude, I got a check for like literally. $65. And I was like, sure? what the fuck? I didn't even cash it. I'm like, if I cash this, I'm going to get like a trouble on my taxes. This is a mistake. <laughs> like, why the fuck did you send the government send me $63? I thought and everyone 18 cents? got it. Well, anyway, I'm mixed up. But uh, um, yeah, they gave out like token $600 to everybody. Me- reparations but might be a good idea. Thieves got tens of thousands. Fucking dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. We didn't yeah. <laughs> I parlayed that into a new bathroom. <laughs> 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 <Down payment. laughs> My bathroom. Uh, 
Yeah, I I, uh, I I I no longer trust Fauci. I think he might have been up to some monkey business, being uh, paid to say things. He definitely lied multiple times, um, but but maybe even being paid by pharmaceutical companies. I um uh, t- t- I think that uh, um for I don't know why everybody was so wanted to cover China's ass on that thing. You know, Trump was up there calling it the Chinese virus, and he's like, oh, how dare you, kid? Don't you know that it's a Chinese person got beaten up yesterday in California. It's like, really? One? A, a whole <laughs> Chinese person got beaten up? Oh, no. Because of the truth, huh? Well, you know what they say. The truth hurts. I wish you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you think he would have said that? Yeah. Um, I mean, like, it, like from the media perspective, it, it makes sense that they wouldn't want to go all in anti or anti-China and agree with Trump at the election time, because that would be a huge groundswell of support for Trump, because it would be like a common enemy of like, we're all against China. We don't like them. The Democrats agree. We have big plans, people. Big plans are going to take care of China. And then it would be like, a, oh, well, oh, you know, I think that would, you know, grease his wheels a bit in, in that time. You, don't, we'll you still don't think, think he's got a chance? I don't think he has a, a shot. No. Do you think he beats DeSantis? Uh. I don't know. I don't. I don't really like this DeSantis guy. I don't, I don't uh, like him. Really? What? Do, I think he's great. Like, like maybe I'm missing something. But so, so it's weird when <laughs> nah, you, when you like only him. get exposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Hang there. <laughs> if you you know if you only hear DeSantis's side of the story, you're like, holy shit, what a great guy. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard his detractors exactly. And when I do hear them, I see them lying about him. Like like like. It, whenever whenever someone's talking shit about DeSantis, they're fucking lying to you. If they're talking, if they're calling something the don't say gay bill, that's not what it is. Well, that was you, obvious. Propaganda. You named it that weirdo. And like it, every time you <laughs> boil down what that bill is about, it's like 85 percent of people are for it. By the way, 15 percent of the people need to be dissolved in acid. <laughs> OK, Jesus. OK, walk the streets. You'll agree with me. Just start counting. <laughs> the homeless is one and a half 15 of, percent of the people right. you see on your day you're like yep yeah, fucking boil them up use their bones send their bones to china as fertilizer like they did the the uh the uh you're making bison. a lot of sense yeah yeah that I, does make sense I, like I, if you asked me i'll make it up four months ago i'd be like desantis is gonna kick trump's ass no one cares about trump everyone's tired of his lies all his rallies were out there like i really won the election i didn't really lose just sore loser bullshit then he did that nft thing and with the with the pictures of him as an astronaut and a cowboy and it was like i remember kyle was like not only was his major announcement bad it proved to me he's not even seriously running for president and i agreed with you at the time now I'm like, shit, I think Trump is a shoe in for the Republican nomination. And- I think it's going to the debates are what's going to matter. I think um, you, people are they're going to have to draw their own lines between themselves. Um, so it'll, it'll, it'll be really fun to see DeSantis and Trump on the debate stage. Mm-hmm. And I hope that Rubio and uh, and uh, what's his name from Texas are there again, too. And Jeb, I hope Jeb comes back. I hope Jeb has already like, endorsed DeSantis. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that can only hurt him. Oh no, DeSantis is a lock now that he has the Jeb supporters. This, if DeSantis Jeb was like, 60... "I'll support your podcast," I'd be like, "Jeb, please." They don't. should just do DeSantis exclamation point as his campaign slogan. DeSantis, <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny, man. <laughs> Jeb. <laughs> uh, oh, that guy what sucks. was he gonna say? And Nikki Haley's running. Oh yeah, yeah you're I, a tough guy, Jeb. Real tough guy over real here. Real tough guy, Jeb. Real tough. <laughs> I don't know if Trump's good at debates or not. Like when I watch Trump debate, I think he does pretty well and he has some zingers and et cetera. When I watched him debate Biden, I thought he kind of won. Right. But afterwards, it seemed like the country didn't agree. They're like, this Trump guy is an asshole who interrupts every time Biden tr- starts to talk worse than I ever have a different level. If you have to watch the debate and he didn't let Biden ever say anything, he just dominated the air the entire time. And it was so over the top. The moderators couldn't get him under control. I thought he kind of alpha Biden. That was my takeaway from it. But afterwards, everyone was like, Trump is an asshole. I can't vote for him. Hmm. So is he good or not? I don't know. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't I, remember I, the, the post debate being that cut and dry. If I recall, I do remember like, I remember social media, like on Twitter at the time, lots of people being like Trump is thrashing him. And then afterward, I remember a lot of CNN, you know, that kind of like mainstream being like, 
embarrassing show from Trump as he walks over Biden's speed, like that kind of shit, where it's almost mm. I, I'm always hesitant of that. Like when something happens and then two hours later, Fox is saying the country agrees with DeSantis's <laughs> strong stances. It's like, shut the fuck up. You don't know. Dude. You agree and you want to convince people that you are speaking for a larger representation than you actually are. Fox has been fun lately. So during the like post election, they were beating the drum about election fraud. They were beating the drum about Dominion voting systems and just saying fraud, fraud, fraud. Tucker Carlson is up there saying many people are questioning the results of this election and for good reason. And he just go on there and lay out all the troubles they had. But privately, in their text messages, this crew is fucking MSNBC in private. Tucker is like, she's a liar. Sydney Powell, this is Trump's attorney. Like, I caught her and lie. She's outwardly lying. And, and they're in private. They're saying Rudy Giuliani is a kook. He lies. Why do we have their over? private communication? Why would anyone? Uh, because Dominion sued them and he got their text messages. So they're texting each other back and forth. And mm -hmm. uh, now it's like admit it's in court. You could see they need to prove that the Fox News system host company not just lied but knowingly lied and they seemingly have the defamation is a really hard thing to win but <clears throat> gosh they have them tucker carlson was like uh he got fact checked by someone else at fox news and he's like fire her immediately don't fact check me oh my gosh we're gonna lose viewers to newsmax and what is it i agree by the way or whatever that's we're bullshit. gonna lose viewers to these other people if we don't tell these lies and we're our stock price is down already, we need to we need to keep telling these lies because that's what the viewers want to hear. I'm paraphrasing, but this is what he said in his text. Yeah. And I've always wondered if Tucker believed what he said, if uh, Ingram believed what she said, if Lou Dobbs believed what he said. No, they're smart people. No, yeah, they're smart people who know that they're lying to you. It's the idiots but watching Fox News lies, that believe them. But they're important lies to tell because you've got to motivate the potato heads out there to get out and vote so that and it's all about getting like some fucking state judge to that leans this way instead of that way eight years from now. That's what really matters. And mm -hmm. so to, to accomplish that so that justice is done, at least our view of justice, you got to get the potato heads out to vote. How do you get the potato heads to vote? Oh, my God. It's a Chinese fucking conspiracy, and the balloons are over your house right now. <laughs> Buy your Trump helmets. They'll protect you <laughs> from above. And, you know, it's like, true. like you got to get the potato heads it out. Is true. And, and in the end, you know, justice gets done. The reason our system is so yeah. full of red tape, bureaucracy, and horse shit is because you don't want sweeping change to be possible. It's 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 it's, it's yeah. oh well, we had, yeah you, we had sense. a eureka moment and realized that things should be like this instead of that oh, oh let's just rewrite everything but you can't because of all the red tape and bureaucracy and people throw their hands up and say the system is broken it's working just fine it's making sure that we haven't came around and confiscated everyone's guns yet it's making sure that we don't have libel laws like they do in the UK that Jake that thing J.K. Rowling's using to sue anyone who talks shit about her on Twitter. You say, they're like, you're a Nazi. What's going oh, on? you're going to apologize for that. Did you hear about um the royal family? God, I, I don't keep She's up with them, them, but I was apologize. It's really funny. I was reading about it today. Publicly. It, you'll like this law. <laughs> Apparently, the royal family has a law that says that they can stop you and the news from talking about them. And if they issue this clause or warrant or whatever it's called, you can't talk about the fact that you can't talk about it. They, they, they'll say, hey, all news. You can't talk about, I guess, Prince Williams cheated on his wife. Mm -hmm. And uh, Prince Charles, the king, has declared that you can't report on that. And also, you can't declare that he's declared that you can't report on that. But it's gone Streisand effect because there are plenty of news agencies who are not british yeah and, and that yeah law most of them yeah <laughs> that law doesn't work anymore i'm over here in america 